Uh, Dan Snyder's going to have to sell the team. Okay? Mm -hmm. There's been hit piece after hit piece about the toxic culture that has been run in the Washington football team's building for years and years and years. RG3 almost wrote a book. We don't know what happened with that, explaining about how he witnessed all of this. There's been testimony. The Congress has gotten involved. The Washington Post has had private investigators in there. There has been so much that has been learned about the Washington football team over the last year that you can't help but wonder, like, man, is that the worst operating building on planet Earth? earth and somehow they were able to wade through all those murky waters and snyder was able to keep the team he kind of fell to the back his wife became the new focal point the new spokesperson you get jason right in there as president you change the name ron rivera comes in they're trying to move past everything that happened in the past that we all learned about in a rather quick fashion it was like boom 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 this place stinks you don't believe us here's another Boom, another one. Here's another, boom, scandal is coming out of that whole place from everything that has happened. Whether it's with the cheerleaders, with the workers, with the team, with the ideas, with the decisions, with the trips, with the money. Oh, the money oh, now. Oh, oh. So not only is, you know, poop pipes, uh, poop pipes bursting in the stadium over there at FedEx Field because it's a trash place. Not like this at and No, no, no. Nothing. And I don't have a dog in the fight in the NFC East, but I will say this is the stadium yeah. you want to play in. First I mean. class. We got to walk around it. This place is incredible. But we wondered how Dan Snyder was going to be able to survive all of this. And everybody that was a Washington football fan, everybody that was an NFL fan would say, no, no, this is what Dan Snyder does. And there's actually memes that are like, oh, shit, Dan Snyder ain't going to survive this. Then the next one is Dan Snyder sur survives <laughs> yeah. it. And then right after, it's like, well, how did that happen? And then just kind of something else comes in. And then, boom, Dan Snyder gets buried again. Now, there's alleged reports that the Congress has found out that he has been running two different books to paint two different pictures about the team's finances. Congress will now expand its probe into the team's toxic workplace to ex include the finances. That's via front office sports, who I do believe we could still buy if we had to. Oh, yeah. Now, with that being said, we appreciate appreciate front office sports with this breaking news and Dan Snyder can get around all of the toxic exposés coming from Bezos's company somehow. We didn't think he was going to be able to survive, but he was able to somehow. This one wherever you get into the finances and you have the government involved, I you really taught a couple things. Don't fuck with the IRS. Yep. Do okay? it. The Can't IRS is going to get you. They got more people. They got more money they want to get. If he's painting two different books, as if he's running some sort of Ponzi scheme, as if he's hiding money, the government's got nothing else to do but <sighs> snoop around. This could be the breaking point for Snyder having to sell that team. And in Washington, with a brand new name, now granted Carson Wentz is the quarterback, so mm -hmm. I guess he's going to have to be who you go forward with. And by the way, if he's playing great football, I, I think that's a great pick. This is a very desirable team to get, especially in a place with all the power in the world, basically. Yeah, and we were just talking yesterday about like how the process of acquiring a new team. Like if someone does, even if nothing comes to this for Snyder, if someone goes to Goodell, like Bezos, you were just mentioning, says, "Hey, look, Roger, I'll give you seven billion dollars, and I'll give you three more, and I'll pay for the new stadium all on my own." Like. With all the drama surrounding Snyder, like, isn't this a new chapter for the football team and commanders? Like, get a new owner if you're going to do that. Gumpy, let me know. The internet, you know the internet better than anybody. The internet told me that Snyder and Goodell are just boys. Is that why Snyder always gets past all this? Or is it just because he's a billionaire and he's an NFL owner so he can do whatever he wants whenever he wants? That sounds right. It sounds like everything, no matter what happens, somehow gets swept under the grud, like under the rug, like the Gruden stuff, like how none of those emails got released. Like it feels like no matter what happens, he gets saved, Pat. I do not know why. So that would make sense. In Pat, the, and, yeah, go, hold on. In the United States of Goodell, okay? Oh, yeah. In the United States of Goodell, his, his rules, you know, far exceed the states in a lot of different things. But if the Congress and the government get involved in a potential Ponzi scheme, two different books, hiding of money, that means you're hiding of taxes, plus all these exposés, it's going to get real loud. Not that it hasn't been already, but once the money thing gets involved and the government feels like they've potentially been fucked, they are going to come. I mean, they are going to be the big bad wolf. They were showing up at league meetings, what, last year the Congress was showing up mm -hmm. and saying, excuse me, what are we doing about this asshole team in Washington? What are we doing over here? I'm fascinated by it all because I think the way the selling of teams goes, and I know at the league meetings they said they are looking for uh, diversity and ownership and they hope that one of the next teams that goes for sale, that happens. But I looked into it a little bit more. I think the only way teams are sold 
It's a blind auction. I think it's like a blind auction. Like you just put in a bid. You have to get okayed, I believe, by all the other owners. Then once you get okayed, you're allowed to put in like a blind bid. So like if Bezos really wants that, and they say, well, the team's worth $4 billion or $5 billion, but if some ridiculously rich group of people just want to come in and say, hey, we'll go $10 billion, it's like, bang, that's being sold like that. I, I'm pretty sure that's how it all goes. And I don't know how Snyder escapes that, especially with Bezos, you know, jacked up on his yacht just mm -hmm. dreaming about being an nfl owner all day if you're if you're withholding tax dollars that the government expects you to pay yeah good luck getting out of that so if that's you add this to all of the other things that have been going on with this team and this ownership how, yeah how in the hell does he keep keep control of the team keep ownership but if he is boys with goodell why what's their connection I uh, may had a couple of steaks and, and pops one night. Yeah, some M and M's. Oh. But watching NFL football, he might have helped Roger get the gig. Yeah, he might have been one of his big advocates, yeah. right? He might have been one of his big sponsors. Like, oh, I like this guy that's been running mail for twenty years here at the NFL, and this guy will basically do anything. I asked him to do uh, a little toilet cleanse, and he just jumped in there and did it. Like, this is our guy. Let's pay him forty million a year. Maybe that happened. I'd assume more than just Dan Snyder did that. And Goodell has to look out for everything, not just how Dan Snyder's doing. But there are so many memes on the internet about like. Oh, this is going to kill Dan Snyder because he, there's no way he can come back from this. And then like two months later, uh, Dan Snyder's okay. He's still got the team. Let's move along here. It's just been now on repeat almost. But money in the government. This is a big deal, right? Yeah. Like, is there any other? What's another example of some other gigantic corporation keeping two books? Bernie Madoff was running two books. Yeah, and the whole Ponzi situation, all of it involved. Yeah, like. Is it how deep does it go and how many people are involved? Because it's not just Dan Schneider doing it. There's well, obviously a lot of people involved. You can't have that many people involved. And I asked yeah. our bookkeeper, CFO Phil, and CFO Phil's first response alongside Diggs, who is a former accountant and his mom's accountant. Yeah, is yeah. like the amount of work that that is to keep two separate different books. Because every transaction now has to be at least documented in each book and it has to be documented in different fashions to paint a different picture. Oh, we are making money. Oh, we aren't making money. Oh, th like everything is, you know, has to be balanced. I assume it's only one or two people. I think Madoff only had one person up in that one office cooking the entire thing. I assume that person didn't sleep for like 20 years doing these books. And when they got busted, probably very fucking thankful. But this whole thing is is very, very interesting. On top of that, the, uh, the NFL and the government have a pretty good relationship. And the NFL, I feel like, always kind of treads a little bit lightly when it comes to government because of the antitrust exemption that allows them to negotiate as yeah. a single entity for those TV deals where they get that massive amount of money from. So if you're messing with that money, you're in trouble. Not only that, right? I think they have some tax exemption too because they're a necessary entertainment they were deemed. Yeah, yeah. I don't know if that's the antitrust thing you were speaking of, but I do believe the NFL and the government have a long, long relationship of, hey, we need the NFL, the government says, which as somebody who lives in a very sports stooge world with my blinders on, hey, we need the fucking NFL. Big time. I understand that. But there's some stuff that's popping off that I'm not sure that even the United States Goodell can dance around with the government if they're really pissed off. Yeah, like this feels I, like the last straw. Everything before was, you know, one thing and they did their research and everything. But, like, if, when the government gets involved, and as much as, you know, Goodell and Snyder might be buddies, Goodell doesn't want the NFL to get smeared ever. And if it's this serious and they're going to dive even deeper into it, like, there's only, there's only so many people people you're that close with where you're willing to risk you know 30 other owners uh, i guess 29 and mark davis because the irs is in investigating him as well privately though i think or is that professionally i don't know